What is up guys, it's Danny27 here bringing you some Battlefield 3 today and if you are a Battlefield 3 fan you will know that Armored Kill came out for premium members on the Xbox and PC earlier today on the 11th of September and as I am a premium member on the Xbox I thought I'd give it a go and give you my first impressions. I didn't want to give you a full review just yet as I only had the game for a couple of hours but I wanted to give you more of a first impressions as I said the review will probably come Friday or Saturday once I've had a couple of days with the game and tried out every single map thoroughly every game mode and everything that the new expansion has to offer so when Armored Kill was announced I was actually really excited about it I wasn't sure how it was going to work on the Xbox seeing as we do only have 24 man servers so I did have a little bit of scepticism as well as my initial excitement for the awesomeness of the ATVs coming back and just the fact that the maps are going to be huge but my scepticism was that as we only have 24 player servers, I was going to be a little bit lonely. I wasn't going to see anybody for a good 5-10 minutes and sadly sometimes that is the case. I didn't find it too much on Bandar Desert, even though that is the biggest map which is a little bit worrying, however I didn't go for all the flags, I stayed between about 2 or 3. I did find it however on Armoured Shield because of the ridiculously open areas between the flags I wouldn't see anybody at flags I was capping and on my way to the next one I'd just get sniped because that's how it roll people just sitting in bushes little bush monsters everywhere on armoured shields so that was a little bit of a shame and the fact that you have to use vehicles to get to every flag otherwise you will just get taken down immediately is a bit of a problem obviously that is what they intended but as there's not vehicles and you don't always have a vehicle at your disposal trying to get to a flag from another flag could be well, it's actually really difficult sometimes so that is a little bit of a problem when you do capture flags you do have vehicle spawning there for you depending on your class and depending on your class depending on your team whether you're Russian or the US but it's not particularly easy to get from flag to flag if you're on one of the biggest maps especially like Armored Shield as I said because there's bush monsters absolutely everywhere however what I do have to say about Armored Kill is that the maps look absolutely beautiful all of them are absolutely spotless there. I mean, on the Xbox, there's a few texture glitches when you first load up the game, but I'm pretty sure that's because Armored Kill is probably pushing the Xbox to its limit. It is a pretty old console, so it's probably, yeah, pushing it right to its limit. But in terms of once you get the game started, it is absolutely beautiful. Everything's spotless. Everything's so defined. You just kind of stand there looking in awe at the amazingness of the scenery, especially Albor's Mountain, the first snow map in Battlefield 3. And it's absolutely gorgeous because you've got the mountain side if you haven't seen it yourself if you haven't played it yet you've kind of got a snow-capped mountain here at the top I'm just I'm doing hand gestures you can't see these but you've got a snow-capped mountain at the top then you come down almost into like a wooded area around a lagoon which a lagoon a lagoon <laughs> around the lagoon and kind of like a glacier it's all frozen over with two flags obviously probably different on the PC on the Xbox you've got two flags and you've got more flags up in the mountain and it absolutely looks 100% the most beautiful map in Battlefield 3, in my opinion. However, as I said, it is a bit of a pain on Xbox getting between flag singers. That is another one you don't always see people at because there's five different flags to spawn at, so you're losing one, people spawn at other ones. It does take a little bit of a while to get down to the flag, and half the time you'll drive to the flag on a quad bike and then you'll get off and then you'll get shot from someone in cover because they can hear the quad bike coming a mile off. So it is a bit of a problem, but overall, I think Armored Kill is a great expansion pack for the Xbox. Probably probably going to be better on the PC because of the 64-man servers. I think it's going to be absolutely great on there. So maybe if you're a PC player, I would definitely advise picking up if you're Xbox. Maybe see what you think. Maybe watch a few more videos on it. You can watch my review coming out later this week, most likely Saturday, Friday or Saturday. And if you kind of like that, I'd pick it up. But if you're on PC, I'd definitely pick it up. Xbox or PS3. See, what, see whether it's for you. Personally, it's probably for me I do enjoy a big game of Conquest and I do love vehicles so it is quite good however on the Xbox and PS3 you're not going to get any high scoring games so don't expect to be going 50 and 2 or something ridiculous like that unless you're raping with a helicopter which may be possible however seeing as the nerfs they did in the September patch probably not going to be raping as much as you would like to be and as for the gunship I forgot to touch on this earlier but the gunship or the AC-130 isn't actually overpowered. I was worried that that might be overpowered as well, but it's pretty balanced. On Conquest, you're not able to shoot everybody from each flag, so you can't actually kill that many people, but it's good to defend flags with, and it's quite flimsy. I think it takes about 
three or four rockets from either javelins or jets or heli choppers heli choppers helicopters so it's not a hundred percent and too difficult to take out however on rush my word the gunship is overpowered the attacking team get basically every single vehicle in the game at least one i think at their disposal however they do get the ac-130 which means if you're attacking you generally know where the defenders are going to be they're going to be in a small radius around the mcom station so all you have to do is fire your big rocket there and you just get kill after kill after kill. i got a spawn killed like five times spawn kill spawn killed and so i just had to quit because it was not good that was two rush games i played and both were defenders and both of it just consisted of being ripped to shreds by the ac-130 but as i said Armored Kill is a really good expansion pack. Look, absolutely beautiful. And if you like the biggest maps in Battlefield history, I would definitely advise getting it, especially if you're on PC. Pick it up. But if you're on Xbox and PS3, well, maybe see if it's for you. It's not the best expansion pack for them. However, it's still pretty damn good. So that's been my first impressions on Armored Kill. Hope you enjoyed, guys. And I will see you for the review on Friday or Saturday.